with Xavier. How are you doing? You look so good. I want today to just be fun. I feel like our connection is very strong. I'm excited to have uninterrupted time and truly like just get a feel for each other. Even well, hey, ladies, welcome back. This is your Listen While You Multitask podcast, My View, My Opinion. Thank you for joining all of us in the listening audience today. Check the description box if you have any questions about who I am or what this is all about, okay? Today, I want to share with you the number one takeaway from Charity's one-on-one date with Xavier, who is a lot of fans' favorite out of all the guys. And oh, is this a good one. Come on in here. Let's do it. The number one takeaway is Charity had doubts about Xavier and she didn't ignore them. She explored them. And that's what all of us should do in a new relationship, a potential relationship, heck, one you've been in for years. Always explore, ladies, our doubts. Listen, not doing so is actually not fair to the man. And in all honesty, it's actually not fair to you or if it were me either. Never be too fearful of losing the relationship or too afraid that he will lose interest in you. Charity did a fantastic job of this last night with Xavier. I mean, let's be frank, ladies. We saw the episode. (laughs) We could not only listen to her express her doubts, but you could actually hear in the tone of her voice that her doubts were really, really serious. (sighs) Take a listen. I feel like Xavier does remind me of people that I would have like dated in the past in regards to like our chemistry and how we interact with each other. Coconut my favorite thing, but hey, you know, like as you. That's our, okay. It's just like little things, like just the compliments, and it's not even that I'm not taking the compliments, but I don't want someone to be with me just because like you're just so attractive and you're so pretty, or like I don't want to be like just that. Superb, ten out of ten. You quit. And I know he's just being sweet. Like I don't want to look at him that way because that's not fair. That's not fair to him. And I, I know there's so much more to him. Being here, it's like, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm hoping it does. But there is so much beauty in, like, being willing to take risks and being okay with them. And if anything, like, this has allowed me to grow. And I am excited. I'm hopeful. And... You do with so much grace and voice, and it's beautiful to watch. And mm-hmm. I think I've grown a lot, yeah, a lot already yeah. from like, you know, yeah. like being in this arena. It's definitely like I didn't expect to grow this right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to have it for it to happen so fast, mm-hmm. and I'm super happy I had that opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> The feeling that I have for Xavier has definitely been enhanced since today's date. And I'm just kind of looking for that to just be further strengthened if, if possible. You make me kind of giddy, girl. Stop. Do I make kidding. you giddy? Yeah. But, you know, I think why I'm so on edge, and I talked about it earlier, like Xavier reminds me a little bit of my ex. I, I don't know. Like, I could be wrong in saying all of this. I really could. But for me, it's like I'm trying to look at all sides of who Xavier is and what he could be for me as a partner. We have a connection, and I feel it right now, but is it strong enough? That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Now, how do we do this? Ladies, how do we explore our, d- our doubts? It's simple, by asking questions, just as Charity did. She first identified exactly what her doubts were. Take a listen. Today was a great day with Xavier. He's fun. He's a great person. But he does remind me a lot of my past. And I see some of those qualities that I have grown from and still am, like, working through. I am going off of a feeling. And it's not. Then... Then and only then, she proceeded to talk with Xavier 
and she asked him the appropriate questions. So, what I feel like I need to know at this point from him is how loyal of a guy he is. Cheers to you. Cheers. Because I need loyalty and I need someone who I can trust and someone I know at the end of the day, like nothing is going to come between us. Um, She did this so beautifully. What I mean is she was direct with him, but she wasn't like detective, like bossy or intimidating ladies. Y'all know how we can be when we have doubts and we want to talk with a guy about it. But listen, because she did it that way, he received her questions beautifully. Take a listen. I want to start off by talking about previous relationships and um, do you have any fears in regards to the end of this and, and being engaged? Yeah, so, good question. Um. Thank you so much for listening today. Listen, if you enjoyed hanging out with me, will you let me know that by clicking the thumbs up icon there on your device screen? And hey, if you really enjoy hearing a different perspective on The Bachelorette, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube community. I'll talk with you ladies later. Have a great day. Bye, guys. (music) 